and welcome it's to what? Tuesday. Is it? Tu- it's Tuesday. It's September something. I don't know. Seventeen. Seventeen. There's cats. There's coffee. It's it's a full house. I've used this less than ten times since yeah, we no. bought it. Well, well, you're the only one here who drinks coffee yeah. normally. But this is a Chemex. You've used that less than ten times? Because I've, like, been here when you've used it a good handful of them. I don't think we've generally used it. No. Well, anyway, it's it should make good coffee. We have so many coffee options. But this is the bulk coffee option. Then we have the, the non-bulk coffee option. I love coffee options. It's Tuesday, so that means we're doing breakfast stream. I said yesterday that Chaz and Jeff hit buttons to make things uh, happen, and that's true. Um, we got to finish getting it set up, but it's otherwise ready. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't really have anything to say anyway, so I just... <laughs> What does he want? Everything. <laughs> he just follows you around and meows at your feet. Eat that toast. Just, I really hate holding the plate. Oh no. Well, then put the plate down and hold the toast. No, I'm gonna make a crumb. Then hold the plate. It's just really heavy. You guys have such heavy plates. <laughs> <laughs> My plates are made of plastic. They're the same 25 cents plates that I've been using for like Oh my god. Over 10 years. Over 10 years. You guys made them out of stone. <laughs> yeah, they are stoneware. Oh wait, is this actually stone? Yeah, it's, 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 it's proper, it's proper crockery. Oh, I was just saying stone because that's something that's heavy. Well, they're ceramic, but it is stoneware ceramic. Is ceramic stone? No. So what is... It's vitrified clay. What is vitrified? <laughs> Glass-like. Wait, is it glass or stone? Uh, it's like it's, it's, it's like glass. It's stone like it's it glass like stone. Clay that's been heated to a proper cone or temperature. So it's clay. It's that not is stone. Turned to basically glass. Wait, you've mentioned clay, stone, and glass. Coffee. You need more coffee. I need more coffee. Here you go, Jeff. <laughs> Just drink it out of the crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Um, the, uh, we, we did a breakfast stream, and it was... It was very extra. It was very extra. <laughs> it was very good. It was actually very good, and it was very unique in the sense that everything was done right before, and... Untested. It, untested, and we, uh, we'll do it live, and we did it live, and it was fine. It was fine. I think people really enjoyed it. Okay, sorry, we did a swear. Yeah. No, it's fine. Because we'll, uh, yeah. sen- we'll censor it. I think you each swear, swore right at the beginning. Like, right at the be- in the first, like, <laughs> ten seconds. Just to make sure that anyone that was looking for family-friendly tag was going to be frightened this morning. Um, I'm sorry we have to say goodbye to you, buddy. Because we're going to miss that. we got to go home to our boys, who sound a little different. I will meow until you touch me. Yeah, meow until you feed him. My God. Because he's home. Yeah. His duty, his duty is to constantly provide food because he's the food provider. If I feed them, it doesn't count. Yeah, Chaz, Chaz, Chaz is, is here. The, the food must be his. <laughs> Chaz is normally at work, um, but he, he took a little half day to do breakfast stream, which I appreciate. But now you have to go to work. Correct. So we have to get out of here. We are, uh, we're not going to drive the full way. We have a, um, a hotel in Knoxville. Um, so that's not too far. That's like six hours. And we'll make it there, and then we'll just relax a little bit. Because uh, I don't want to drive the whole way. We'll make it tomorrow. Anyway, thank you for having us again. Anytime. 
I don't know when we'll be back. I really don't. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll that makes it sound like I'm never coming back, but I just don't know the next time. But maybe we'll see. Are you? You guys might. You we just, might come down. You might come down year. before the end of the year, right? Yeah, it's might. a possibility. Okay, I shall see. Well, cool. You can you can bring Venser if you want. <laughs> I don't think Venser would mind. This should be perfectly fine with 14 hours in the car in a cage. He'll just make that noise. Oh, Forever. Great. I can't think of any drawbacks to this plan. <laughs> Did he try to bite you? Yeah. Is it because you weren't petting him? Yes. Oh my god. He's a needy boy. Well, this, <laughs> that was because you were petting him. Has he made up his mind? It's just, again, it's because the food isn't being dispensed. Oh my god. Now, are you ready? Yeah. I've been ready. Okay. Well, I am too. Let's go. Kentucky's been beautiful. Kentucky is beautiful. It really is. It's, uh, it reminds me, it reminds me a good bit of West Virginia. It's not quite the same. You're not, like, going on the highway, you're not quite on the same level of mountainous roads. But the vistas are beautiful. So, uh, I mentioned it earlier, but we're staying in Knoxville tonight. Um, just didn't feel like going all the way to, all the way home. Finding the trip into three days is really nice because then you only have six hour days. And driving six hours, especially lately, is like nothing. I don't know what it is, but we can just travel so easily now. Driving is just a piece of cake. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older or if it's because I've just driven so much. We also sat on a plane for like 14 hours. And that didn't even seem that long. I'm just like, okay. I mean, my legs get really uncomfortable and I'm certainly more comfortable in the car, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather sit in the car for 14 hours than a plane. Yeah, but also you have, you know, it's the subconscious feeling of knowing that you can stop. Because if you need to stop, you, you can stop. Yeah. It's like, oh, I want to pee. Well, we can pee. Oh, I want to get a drink. Okay, we'll stop at the gas station. And, like, most of the roads that we travel, there's exits all over the place, so it's not like you have to really wait, so it's really nice. But, uh, yeah, we're going through Kentucky. We'll be there in, like, what, two hours? Six-something. Six-fifteen. Okay. So, yeah, two hours. So, yeah, it's a pretty easy drive. Hopefully, uh, we'll get there relatively on time. We'll get checked in, and then, um, figure out dinner but the car's the car's working we stopped to get gas and we turned the car off and it turned back on so i don't know why it died in wisconsin it must have been a freak thing but it's working just fine today three two one let's jam do 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 never mind um so we made it to the hotel um interesting thing about tennessee every single exit has a cracker barrel every single exit all of them. All of them. In fact, some of them only have a Cracker Barrel. There doesn't seem to be anything else around. And, like, I guess that works, because when I think of Cracker Barrel, if I were to choose just one of the U.S. states to accompany that mental image, I guess it would be Tennessee. It's just unusual, because it's, like, every single exit. Anyway, we're going to go have dinner at uh, the only <laughs> restaurant around, and you guessed it, it's Cracker Barrel. Pancakes and breakfast food. You did something different. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you did roast beef. That's not different. <laughs> you love roast beef. This thing is so loud. And freezing. And freezing. Oh, that's one thing that um, I, I feel like I didn't talk about when we were in China. but um, And we experienced this over and over and over again. It was really bizarre. In every hotel room we went to, Every one of them. Shanghai, Xi'an, the boat, I guess. I don't know if the boat had any controls. I don't remember. And then also Beijing. None of them got cold enough. Like, the the dials would would take you to the temp... Like, like they physically went to the, the temperature you want, but none of them got to what the temperature actually said it was. And Shanghai kind of made sense. Xi'an kind of made sense because those places were sweltering so it's like sure 
I understand. Maybe it's so hot that the room can't get cold enough. Even though that doesn't make sense. <laughs> At least I can I can be like, yeah, maybe. But in Beijing, like, no, it, it should get cold because we like it really, really cold to sleep. And um, we generally sleep with it like 68 degrees. And I think, now I'm rem this is from memory, but I think that was like 18 or 20 Celsius. And like we would put it on, on 18 or 20 and like it never got anywhere close to the temperature that we're familiar with when we sleep. So, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. It was something strange that I noticed. Like, it wasn't like too difficult to sleep, but it was a little difficult at the beginning because we're used to it being like really, really cold. Anyway. All right, so um, it's 8 o'clock. Uh, we're back from our delicious... You look. I ate so much food. I was so hungry. Well, that's good. If you're hungry, you should eat. Yeah, but I probably overate. Yeah, it's fine. Um, we're going to get, a honestly, a good night's rest. We don't have any agenda, like, in terms of a schedule for tomorrow. It would have been kind of nice to leave early enough to make it back for lunch bunch, but it's too far away. We'd have to leave in the wee wee hours of the morning. And I'd much rather just, like, <sighs> relax. I understand that we've been on vacation, but it's been stressful. It's been stressful. For one, we've been super busy, like, every day that we were in China. And then also coming back over is, like, 24-plus hours of staying up and being all messed up and then driving. So actually, just getting a chance this evening to relax, it's kind of nice. It seems ridiculous when you write it out, like we need a vacation from the vacation, but it's kind of true. And um, I'm looking forward to getting back home tomorrow and getting back on a normal schedule. But for this evening, having a bunch of time to just like sit, sounds great. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow. Shout out.